Start your week smiling with your friends, Kathy Zant and Michelle Frechette. It's time to get ready for some weekly motivation with WP Motivate. Happy Friday, Kathy. It is Friday. Happy Yay. Friday, Michelle. How are you? I never, I'm good, except, you know, I, I never know what day of the week it is. I'm constantly checking my phone. I'm like, wait, is it Friday yet? It's Friday. So, yes. yes. And then I always say the wrong day, like when we recorded things like that. But it is Friday. Today is Friday, the 21st of April. And it's a good week. It did snow here on Monday, but it's in the yeah, 70s really. again today. So, <laughs> yeah, nice. I mean, it's Rochester, New York. We live by the Great Lakes. It has its own weather system. It is what it is, but it's sunny and it's supposed to get up to like 72 today. So no real complaints. And we're going into the weekend with that great weather for you too. Yes. I have not looked at the weather, the forecast for the weekend, because if it's going to rain all weekend, I don't want to know until later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My goal is to get out with my cameras this weekend if it is nice weather. So amazing. That sounds so wonderful. Yeah. It's part of my self-care is getting out there in nature with my cameras. So. That's amazing. And self-care is important because it you is. are an extremely valuable person to this community, to me, to so many people who love you. So we Thank want you know. to take care of yourself. Likewise, as are you. It's funny because we, last week our episode was um, our favorite things. And when, when I were to post it on our website, I realized that we already had done our favorite things in December. So I was like, I'll just add the word more in the middle here. Of our favorite things and the truth is that those favorite things aren't just because they're fun it's all part of our self-care right so yeah. even things as simple as your husband having the right bed is part of your self-care because if you can sit him up electronically you don't have to pull him up using your back muscles so yes our favorite things are all about self-care including the coffee and wine and if you want to know what those th what those favorite things were just go back to wpmotivate.com Look for last week's episode, more of our favorite things. And uh, I, I linked as many as we could um, out to Amazon and other places so that if you're interested in uh, seeing what the why we think things are amazing, um, I did put a disclaimer on there. None of those links are affiliate links. We don't make any money. We just want to be able to share the things that make us happy. And one of those things is, like we were talking a little bit before we started recording the show, knowing our self-worth. And I think, yeah. you know, you, you made a comment that when you start to know your self-worth, the community and others around you reflect that back to you. And I actually was starting to wonder, do you think that sometimes we're not willing to see the reflection until we, yes. so something is a catalyst, right? So like, maybe it's not that the rest of the community didn't already have that admiration or respect or whatever the words are, um, for you, maybe it's just that we weren't willing to see it until there's a yeah. catalyst that says, um, you know, maybe I do have some value. And then I look around and people are like, damn straight, you do. We've been yeah. here all along, but you just didn't yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't hear it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, you're reminding me of, um, of something my husband wrote, like, gosh, 15 years ago, um, where he was, he had this issue with a business partner and he, um, he started talking about like different types of teachers or different types of mentors. And you have a mentor that wants you to be more successful than they are. And then you have mentors who want you to be successful, but not more successful than they are because they're threatened and they might have jealousy issues or whatever. And then you have teachers who just, you know, you're always going to be the student. I'm always going to be the professor. And, the, and there's, yes. so you have different types of teachers. And so you want to find people, mentors, bosses, organizations, communities that say there's the sky, there is no limit for you. Like I'm here and you may see yourself as less than me in some ways, um, but I want you to be more successful than me. I want you to have like all of the metrics, more followers, more speaking engagements, more money, like if that's right. your path, go do it. Like, and so you want to find mentors like that and communities like that, that, that just, there is no limit or bosses, you know, there's, I've seen so many like friends and, and such that have like bosses that feel like, okay, well, you, if you can't be more than me, like, cause I'm mm -hmm. your boss. And so therefore right. there has to be this hierarchy. And so they, 
the, these structures sometimes or people's like own fear, like bosses or mentors or teachers own fear cause them to, to limit other people and keep other people small because of their own fear. And it's often hard for people who are in those kinds of relationships to break free of that because it's like, oh, well, what happens if, you know, do I, do I lose mom's love? Like, I think there's like some primal yeah. thing, like where, there is. where you feel right. like, yeah. So I, I just remembered just as you were talking, I remembered those articles that he wrote. They still get traffic on his site too. Whenever oh, I, awesome. like, every six months when I go look and see how his site's still okay, because <laughs> he's not really working anymore. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of things about just life and society and work and, and the way we were raised that, that keep us small and not knowing our worth so mm -hmm. that when, even if somebody says, oh my God, you're so amazing. I can't believe you just did that. You don't mm -hmm. need really even hear it or want to own it because there's like a fear, unconscious fear associated yeah. of like loss of, or where, where do I belong now? Like if I'm bigger than my boss or I'm bigger than this organization that I'm in or, or whatever, what does that mean? Where am I? You know? Right. And so there's some fear associated. So we keep ourselves small and we don't claim yeah. that self-worth that, that we should. I think you're right. I think there's, you know, there's a lot to be said there. Are, are And and speaking as women uh, for a minute, right, specifically, we, there are those of us who kind of are trying to push the boundaries, open doors. There are women who go through that door and close it behind them because they want it for themselves. Sure. And then there are those women who go through, open that door, break the handle so nobody can ever close it again and bring others behind them, right? Love and you, you, you were making me think, it was like, I was, I saw... Okay, uh, it was TikTok. I saw TikTok <laughs> after the Met Gala, which I couldn't even tell you when that was, probably sometime in February or something. Um, and these amazingly ridiculous, gorgeous gowns that they wear that are so impractical, right? Where somebody stands at the top of the staircase and their gown goes 30 steps down behind them. Like, okay, great. You're going to go into this, like the gala and you're never going to be able to sit down or move or people are going to be somewhere else. But the... <laughs> But no my, snacks my, for you either. <laughs> exactly, right? But as you were saying about, you know, about that and, and the mentors are wanting not to always stay ahead of you. I was thinking, you know, I realize that I have a voice in our community and I try to use it for good as often as possible, right? I write articles on post status yeah. that kind of either push the wrong buttons or help people see things or whatever. And, and that's okay. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Got broad shoulders. But I was thinking about like, I really do, okay, I love the limelight. I'm not gonna lie, right? I put myself in positions to be out there and suffer the slings and arrows or the praise, and that's okay. But I always hope that there, I'm opening the door and making it possible for other people to have better lives, not just in WordPress, but in general. And I got to thinking about the ride the coattails thing. Like, you know, like there are people who are like, oh, they're just gonna ride my coattails cool. Well, then I need bigger coattails because I'm going places. And if they want to come, they yeah. can come too, right? Like there's yeah. ways to, to be better about that. And there's ways to say, well, then I'm cutting those coattails off. Nobody's riding my coattails, right? Why? Why would you do that? And we have something coming up again in WordPress, which is another all women non-binary release squad, which is coming up for, um, I think for this fall. And mm -hmm. we had one Gosh, a couple of years ago now, 5.6, and we're what, at 6.2 right now? Um, 6.2, 6.3, I lose track, I'm sorry. 6.2 is um, live, 6.3 is coming. Okay, all right, so I was right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, maybe, I, I'm not going to edit that last part out, but I wish I would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's that kind of thing, right, where we will still suffer the slings and arrows of yeah. the misogynistic part of the WordPress community, which includes women. It includes women and non-binary folk, right? I'm assuming. I know it includes women for sure. It definitely includes men. And that's okay, right? So those of us who are willing to put our faces at the front of that and take the brunt of that are still going to open the doors for women behind us who have never been part of something that big before and want to. Yeah. And that's good. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's great. And that's where that value yeah. comes in, right? Like I tweeted out this morning. So you know I have a plugin in the repository. Yes. I joke about it because I'm not a developer. I just forked Hello Dolly. I tell people yeah. not to use the word just, right? Like don't use just to describe yourself. But I literally just forked Hello Dolly 
took the Hello Dolly lyrics out, put positive affirmations in there. And then this week, Tanner Record, who works with us uh, at Modern Tribe, which is part of Liquid Web now, he helped me set up web, web actions or GitHub actions so that I can update my plugin in GitHub, change the, um, the release number, and yeah. it'll automatically update in the nice. repository, which is what has kept me from updating the plugin in the first place, right? Because it's like, I can't remember how to do SVN. I've only done it twice. But, um, and I tweet about it and like, I have 503 downloads in three years, which I'm not mad at because it's Hello Dolly basically, right? 41 of those, 8% were just this week because really? I tweeted about it. Yeah. Just because I tweeted about it. And people see value in positivity. So you never know where your value, your perceived value of yourself versus others perceived value of you may not yeah. always align until you start to see some of those feedback loops come back to you, but just trust they're there, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I think, you know, there's that whole adage of when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Yes. And I think when you are ready to receive reflections of your self-worth, it will show up. Yeah. And honestly, as it shows up for me, I find just intense humility, like, mm -hmm. I am not worthy. <laughs> like, I'm just doing what I do. I'm not trying to... But yeah. what comes easy for me in in this lane, right? Where my, where my expertise is, where where I am most at home, where I can contribute the most, that lane is not necessarily anybody else's lane. But the, it, it's comfortable, and that's where I'm going to stay. If somebody tries mm -hmm. to drag me over into like another lane, I'm not going to be comfortable there. I'm going to fail, and so I just like stay in my lane of what is, yeah. and and that reflects then back to me when you hear those types of things and you're like, okay, you know, I, I, I keep going back to a couple of people who have come forward to me recently who have been, you know, basically watching what I've been doing in the WordPress space for a long time. And one woman in Phoenix told me that she basically changed her career because of me years ago to listen that. to me in um, podcasts and WordCamp talks. And she's like, I want to do what she's doing. And she changed her career. Um, I, did not go out there saying, I need to find a person and help them change their career. And be, I just like, I'm just me. And if I mm -hmm. inspire somebody else, then that reflects back to me. Then it's just like, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that feels really good. That feels like I'm on purpose. That's what I want to do. I want to empower people. And so then that ref you keep getting that feedback. That feedback mm -hmm. is just kind of like, okay, next step. <laughs> Can yeah. you do this more next step? And it's almost like this flashlight shining a path of like, okay, I am in the right lane. I am doing who I am being who I am. This is super easy for me to just do what I know and teach what I know. Mm -hmm. And it just like lights up this path of just like, okay, I don't need to figure out, okay, what am I going to do in five years? I just need to know what the next step is going to be. And it just keeps every time I, I hear a, you helped me do this, or you helped me do this, or we really appreciate what you did, or we value you. All of these things are like, okay. Ah, I can relax into like this path. So mm -hmm. claiming my value and allowing my my people to reflect that mm -hmm. back to me. Yeah. It's just all of this like I feeling of I mean I've I've had friends who have had like bosses and stuff that are just like no you need to stay here. You need to stay here. Like like just mm -hmm. like they're threatened by people being able to do that. Um and I just want to like say, no, you can't. <laughs> like, yes, you, you can. can. If you're in, yeah. I mean, there's there's got to be somebody listening to this that they feel mm -hmm. like they're in a position where they can't. And I right. just want to say, you can. Just mm -hmm. just look for the sign, and then yeah. where you see the see the light, take the next step. Absolutely. And just keep taking those steps. So that's my story. Absolutely. And I'm hoping it's inspiring somebody, no matter what lane you're in, mm -hmm. to take some steps. I, I agree 100%. I'm going to add to that and yes. say and say that as women, especially, okay, so I can't speak to how women in their late teens through their 20s and even into their 30s have been, I know how I raised my daughter, but I don't know how, I, I can speak to how I was raised. And I'm going to yeah. guess that you're going to agree with me that this is how our generation was raised, that women 
are supposed to be demure and appreciative and not self-aggrandizing in any way. So if somebody says, oh, I love Otherwise your dress. Otherwise you're a bitch. <laughs> right. If somebody says, oh, I love that dress, we're not supposed to say, thank you. I love it too. We're supposed to say, oh, I got it on sale. Or, oh, this old thing, it was just in the closet. Um, yeah. Or it has pockets. <laughs> you know, like, We don't actually just say, thank you. I, I really feel good when I'm wearing it. Or I, it makes me feel beautiful. Like those are the things. Yeah. When a man says to us, uh, you have a beautiful smile. We're not supposed to say, thank you. I know I'm beautiful, right? Like, I mean, that. I, I think that's silly to say, I know I'm beautiful, but we're not supposed to say, thank you. We're supposed to say, oh, you know, I just blah, 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 blah. And, and we are supposed to, and I, I'm disagreeing with it. We're not supposed to, but this is how we were raised. Supposed right. to be humble about that as opposed to show gratitude. Right. And one of the things that changed the way that I receive compliments and therefore those value statements, right, is that somebody once said to me, when I did that, I downplayed what they said as a, I, instead of just saying thank you and owning it, they said, do you know that when you just didn't accept my compliment, that told me that I was wrong. And so you devalued the compliment that I gave you. And I was in my sure. 20s when somebody said that to me. And like that flipped a switch for me. So from then wow. on, even if I didn't feel it, if somebody said, oh, I love your hair today. I just said, thank you. I feel like I'm having a really good hair day, you know, kind of thing. It didn't say, oh, I think I'm amazing. I'm also, my hair is better than anybody else's in the world today. No. Did it feel like that's what I was saying? Yup. <laughs> but the reality is you can be appreciative of other people's compliments for you. And eventually, even if you don't believe them at first, you will start to see that other people actually are saying those things because they see value in you. But yes, that was yeah. about hair. But I'm also talking about the fact that my plugin got 41 downloads this week, right? Like that's value to me that, and those are statistics. Like I can't even go and say, oh, what's just because X, Y, Z. Although somebody did try to say it's because I verified my Twitter, but it's not because of my Twitter verification. <laughs> um, But it, but it, or yeah. Twitter, whatever it, call it. I, but the well, truth is like, Go ahead. Well, like think about how our how our mothers like yeah. in, in the olden days, and olden you know days. our moms are you know we're old, so our moms were old. But like, yeah. think back to like the bewitched era, and women mm -hmm. stayed home and supported their husbands, and you didn't go have a career. You didn't. You you were mm -hmm. you were as a woman culturally told stay small, stay supportive of your husband. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every great man, I saw somebody said this to me once, every great man has a, an incredible woman behind right. him. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it's true. Fuck that. But Fuck let's, that. <laughs> let's like shift the spotlight a little bit and like, you know, yeah, great. I'm, I'm so glad this man is successful, but like, let's really like highlight women's contributions. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, our women were not allowed to do that. And yeah. We live. I'm so grateful that we live in a time where we can claim that kind of spotlight, where we can claim mm -hmm. our value yep. and not it's have funny. to be put into that place of staying small and being mm -hmm. demure and um, almost like running away from people mm -hmm. who are telling us that that we're worthy because society just like brainwashes people into thinking that that's not yeah. okay. You're going to lose something. If you do that, your husband's going to leave you. And what are you going to do with seven kids? <laughs> uh, jokes on them. I left my husband. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, you were talking earlier about like when the mentor doesn't want you to grow beyond them or the coach doesn't want mm -hmm. you to be better than them. I grew up with my mother being very competitive with me about our salaries. Yeah. And I had a I had a bachelor's degree at the time. My mom was working at the university that I went to working at. And when I went to the university, it was the first time I was 29, 30 years old. I was making $32,000 a year. This was 1998. So it was, I mean, that was big salary back then. Um, I mean, not top salary, but it was decent salary back then. And my mother, it was the first time that she's like, Oh, you're making more than me now. I'm like, well, mom, you put me through college. I, sh you don't have a college degree. I should, as a registrar, be making more than yeah. the medical secretary at the hospital part of the thing. And just because of the, you know, how much t time and energy I'd put into it. This year, my my daughter 
is now out earning me. She's 31 years old. She out earns me at 54. And my and my and I am so freaking proud of her. And I hope that she continues. Gosh darn it, she's gonna put me in a home someday and she has to be able to afford it. <laughs> what did I make no? It's in all seriousness, I am so pleased that she is as successful as she is. And I hope she just dances circles around anything I've ever done and what being successful yeah. in the things that she loves and wants to do. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yes. I see you like that with my kids too. Like, I don't want them to make what I make. I want them to make more, like way more. I look at my daughter and it's like, she, she's brilliant. She's snarky. She's got a good sense of humor. She's got, I wonder where she gets that from. (laughs) Sorry. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Does it? I never do. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> she's she's going to do amazing things in this world. She's so driven. She and she's so much more confident than I was. I mean, I came from a pretty This is so funny. I was talking to my mom and she I said, you know, living in that house. We lived in this like I looked at it on Zillow and I'm like, what do you mean it was like 1600 square feet? Five people lived in that house. It was like, what were we doing there? And I was just joking with her. And I'm like, you know, plus my dad was like drinking and coming home and just like, it was like, you know, the car, you'd see the headlights coming and it's just like, it's time for bed. It's like 8.15. It's like, no time for bed. Everybody go. It was just like really, yeah, it was just a really chaotic environment. I say to my mom, I'm like, you know, it was not a good growing up environment. It was very, very stressful. And she's like, well, that's because the house was haunted. <laughs> Well, we have another another entity living there with us. That just makes it worse. But the That's live thinking. beings in that house were pretty stressed out all the time, too. Like we talk about haunted. our ha- our haunted upbringings because I have one too. And we next week's yeah. episode. Next week's episode, WP Paranormal. <laughs> oh, I've got stories. I have got some stories because my dad's my dad's store was definitely haunted, and I had some encounters oh, that were pretty oh. pretty freaky. But like my daughter, I raised her. She's you know, it hasn't been perfect. Obviously the stuff going on with her dad has been pretty stressful. Um, but I have tried to make both of my kids, their environment, the way they've grown up is the antithesis of how I grew up so that they can be confident so that they can go out into the world so that they can, so that if they need help, that they can reach out and get help. Like my, Mm -hmm. my son had both of my kids, like through this experience have had therapy sessions and Mm -hmm. there's no stigma associated. This is just like what we do. This -hmm. is how we get better. This is, there's no stigma associated with this. So yeah, I want them to have, I think it all starts with the mindset and it starts with self-worth and being Mm -hmm. allowing the world to reflect back to you that worth and claiming it. Yep. So as we wrap up today's episode, I want to put two challenges out there for our listeners, all five of you. I know there's more than five, <laughs> but I just think it's funny. <laughs> like eight of you, whatever. Um, we have more <laughs> listeners than that, but, but we are still a small podcast and we love that and it's all good. But anyway, this is my two challenges. The first challenge is to accept the compliments and the value that other people ascribe to you. I promise you, if you fake it, you will make it, right? This is one of those things where people don't go out of their way to to tell you what your value is and lie about it. When people take the time and energy to tell you how valuable you are to them, they mean it. So yeah. internalize that and be, you know, show gratitude instead of deflecting that. Yes. The second thing is go out this week and tell at least two people that you value them and why and don't blow sunshine up their skirts be honest find those people that really mean something to you and explain to them it can be succinct it can be a long conversation but actually tell people the value that you find in them and help them see that in themselves that's my two challenges for this week I love it I don't have anything else to add I think that is perfect (laughs) well we'll end there then we'll see you next week where we're going to talk about the ghosts of WordPress past. I don't know. I'm just making this stuff up though as we go. <laughs> anyway, love you, Kathy. We'll see you all next love week. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. This has been WP Motivate with Kathy Zant and Michelle Frechette. To learn more or to sponsor us, go to WPMotivate.com.